Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Stine and today I'm here with you with my Pickwick orange tea. Um, so that's a classic black tea blend with an orange flavor. And what I do like about the Pickwicks is actually that they come with, the tea bags come with these um, tabs. And there is actually a little question on it, which is like in Dutch saying, who know you the best? And that's actually a good question. Who knows me the best? I would say my mom or my partner. Oh, my dad knows me pretty well as well, and so does my sister. But but my mom probably knows me the best, and my partner also knows me pretty well. Like we can often predict what the other party is going to order when we're out eating and stuff like that, or what we would think about certain things. So that's yeah. I like those small questions that comes with the standard uh, Pickwick tea bags. Um, they always make you think a little bit, which is which is always nice. But we're actually here to do another yarn talk video where I'm going to give you a few updates on my current whips, and I'm going to let you into some stuff that's also in store. But before we're going to do this, I am going to tell you: please subscribe. Ring the little bell so that you get notified when I release new videos and the like, because there is a lot more to come. Um, also, then you're sure you don't miss anything, of course, um, because I'm so happy to share my world of crocheting and my crafting adventures with you. And I hope that you actually do enjoy what you're watching. And therefore, if there's anything specific that you would like to see more of, please let me know in the comments down below. So, project-wise, um, the project that's progressed the least since my last update is probably the baby blanket. That said, it's progressed still, slowly, and it's now so big that I barely can keep it within the camera. So if I go a bit back, you can almost see it too. Um, Size-wise now, it's about two-fifths or so. To completion. Um, I'm about at a phase where I need to change color again and this project is probably a project I'm going to bring with me on vacation um, because it's simp back and forth, um, you don't need to think too much, but I also actually do work on it occasionally in the evening um, when I'm watching television with my partner. Not that I watch a lot of television, but when I do it's, it's an easy project to work with. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. And of course, um, I'm also working on the tutorial, um, which I can first film the next, uh, or record the next sessions of once I'm getting closer to the finishing stage, because you don't need to see all the repeating rows. Then I'm also doing pretty well, I think, about looking on this game halfway through the virus show, which is actually now you can really see these colors slowly fading out. And I've slowly actually started with some strands of um, the light red until it goes into the more full red color. Um, so, so that's what you've been able to slowly see as, as we proceed and get closer here. Um, so yeah, we're about halfway through this game and I'm looking forward for its completion. It's, it's actually really, really, really nice. Let's see, I can't even get it all in, in the camera now. It's not completely possible, so, but, but here we are. And yes, as promised, I will make a new one where I will be recording and making a tutorial to, to for this virus shawl. Um, it's a beautiful pattern. It's quite simple, as long as you keep count on your stitches. So yeah, um, as long as you keep count, because I did have to vlog it two or three rows back this weekend, which was not too happy because that was about an hour's work or so. Um, because I made a mistake. I made actually a stitch too many um, and that made the whole pattern not work out in the, in the final count. So make sure that the counts are right and then usually the following rows will be okay. And then, you know, so every few rows I really need to make sure that I'm on the good count. Then, we also have the summer top that I finally started work working on, which is in a shell stitch sort of pattern, as you can see here. And um, yeah, I'm curious how the colors is going to work on my skin because right now when I look like here, 
I'm not so sure if it's, maybe it's too bright for me, but that's another story. Um, I got the yarn. Um, it's nice and soft. Um, of course, it's carrot simply soft, so it should be nice and soft. But I do find it has a bit tendency to be splitty on me. I'm not sure if that's to do my crochet technique, like how I do crochet or the needle, or if it's more the yarn in general. Um, I'm happy to hear if you have experiences uh, with the current Simply Soft, if there is anything that you do to make it split less, or if you already experienced it splitty. Um, so yeah, please share you share with me your experiences with, with the current Simply Soft yarn. Um, I hope to receive my um, prim hooks, the ergonomic hooks that I ordered sometime this week and I'm going to test if they might work better with the Karen Simply Soft than the metal hook that I'm currently using with it. Um, for this, so for, for this particular um, summer top, I'm not going to make a tutorial because there is already a tutorial for this one on YouTube, which is made by uh, Mike of Yarn Inspirations. Um, so yeah, it, it seems like a waste to make a double tutorial for this. And to be honest, um, when I read the Yarn Inspiration patterns, I was like, oh my God, what did I get into? I'm not sure I understand this. And I watched the tutorial and I have to say it elaborates it very, very nicely. So um, I will actually link to this tutorial, which I'm following for the top, down below. So that you can go check it yourself if that's something you would like to try. Um, but yeah, so once this top gets closer, I'm looking forward to share it with you as well. I am because it is. Um, that's actually something you could see very easily. Let's see if I can, without tackling myself up in it. Um, you can see it's airy, and airy is good, but airy also means that you probably need to wear something underneath. So I was planning for a black tank top or the like underneath. The last update, when it comes to work in progress, as I'm going to share with you today, is the bolero, which I'm making an active tutorial for. And as you can see, I'm progressed pretty well here after closing uh, the back panel back to the sleeve. So, um, quite some material here, um, all nicely folded up, so I bet I can keep track of it. And um, so yeah, I'm on my last skein. So last skein, hopefully, the last skein here is enough to finish. I hope I don't need an extra, but if I do, um, the store isn't that far away, so I can get it. But I actually hope that it's enough, exactly enough skeins to, to complete this tutorial. Um, and also then I hope, of course, that the final, um, the final version here will actually be uh, fitting my mom who sent the measurements for it. So, but, but this is how, if I take it up a bit, see, it's not really my size, obviously, but if I take it up like this, so you can see it a bit, how it, it drapes. Um, but yeah, it's basically a copy of of the blue one, which I made a while ago, which I also showed in some of my other work in progress videos. So let's get some tea. Mm. Nice, good. So what else do I have in store? Um, I have a pending yarn order with um, a Lithuanian company called Vilrita, Vilrita Yarns. Um, from them, I should be receiving some lovely cakes, cake yarns. Um, these cake yarns is good for shawls, um, yeah, shawl scarves, etc. Um, also, other great projects you can make basically everything from cake yarns, but they are variegated yarns, cottons, um, cotton acrylic mixes, and there is also one with some wool blend in it. Um, of course, I will share that unboxing video as soon as I have the yarn. So I'm also keen to see how that progresses. I do know that it's on its way because I received the tracking link for it. Um, and yeah, I also have a plan for some ice yarn order um, towards the end of this month. And a part of it is also related to, they have some really nice yarns I would like to try out. And they do have some yarns for a project that I would actually like to ship to my mom, who will hopefully knit me a sweater for the winter or sometime when she has time, but but yeah. Um, I could knit myself maybe, I don't know. I should spend time to learn knitting as well as beautiful as my mom does. Um, so 
the plan is for her to get the yarn and to make me the sweater. Um, and maybe, I don't know, who knows, maybe I'll get to into knitting one day. But next to this, um, we also, I'm also preparing for a new giveaway for you guys. Um, unfortunately, um, my first giveaway prize winner, which also had to redraw, never claimed their prize. So I will probably make a giveaway that's containing some of the first items from that first giveaway, but also some new different items or different yarns um, to see if that's um, gonna get any traction from you guys. And um, of course, I'm just happy to give back to the lovely yarn community here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward for a lot of things to come here in July. Um, and I wish you all a great, happy, yarny and crafty day. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all soon. Bye.